Hi, this is N0LUV, and today I'm making a video about my favorite HT. Now, I have about nine or 10 HTs floating around here, and most of them are collecting dust. Really what it comes down to is, no matter what I've tried, I love this Anytone 878. It does everything very well, and that's just truth of the matter. Kind of hard to say what my favorite function of this radio is, but I'll cover some of the highlights. The 3100 milliamp hour battery on standby, I'll get about two and a half days. I worked the wings over Houston air show and after 12 hours of using my radio at medium power all day long, I still had about 75% battery life. And I watched everybody else. Anybody who wasn't carrying one of these radios, they were swapping batteries at one point and that's downtime that you don't want. So battery life is huge. Over the last year, I've added 2,700 channels to this radio, which means I have 1,300 channels to go before I start running out of room. So that in and of itself, is simply amazing. Now, you're probably wondering, how do you deal with 2,700 channels? Well, you put them into zones. And so, you know, let's say if I'm in the Texas Gulf Coast, I have a zone for that. So all DMR in Texas Gulf Coast, there's a zone. If I want any of the analog repeaters in Houston, I have a zone for that. If I go up to Dallas, I've got a North Texas zone for all the DMR up there. And I have a zone for all the analog. You get the idea. But when I went to Huntsville, Alabama for Thanksgiving, I plugged in all the repeaters from Houston to Huntsville, Alabama, and named them by city and state. Made zones for states, named them by city. And basically the whole way I was talking to hams, it was nice, kept me up and alert on the road. And actually about 32 miles outside of Huntsville, I was able to hit the Montesano DMR repeater and talk to people actually back home, which was kind of cool because they were on the same talk group. So very versatile radio. I love DMR and then when it comes to who makes the best DMR radio, any tone, hands down. Now, when I first got this radio, I got it from Bridgecom Systems, and I was expecting, you know, five to seven days or, or whatever, and two days later, bam, it's at my door. So, no complaints there. You know, I guess the only downside is once I started using this a lot, I was kind of like, I guess I need the 578 for the car, right? So yeah, that happened. And then probably pretty soon I'll end up getting another one because that radio is awesome. But I always go back to the 878 because it's portable. You know, I don't always have my car with me, but I'll take this to work. I'll have it in my office with me during the day if there's something going on in the city, like during the storms recently, I was getting updates from people even when internet and power was out and I could hear what was going on. And it's just, it's a great tool to have. And like I said, the battery life on it, second to none. So it's just a great all around radio. Of course, I have the signal stick on here. I love that antenna, but the antenna it comes with is actually fairly good. I just I opt for a glow in the dark signal stick because I like to be so this is N0 LUV and if you're looking at getting into DMR, I would highly recommend looking at the Anytone 878-73.